Okay, so here we are. Everybody got here. We're going to cut the material for the doors. Over here, they're doing the rendering all the way around. Now, I decided uh, we're not going to do the rendering on the inside. So this should be pretty quick and easy. And then after that, they have a few jobs. And they get if they're able to finish the doors today, they could be done with everything today. Yeah. But we'll find out. The other thing that's happening here is they're starting to put this thing on all of the tanks. And hopefully it'll work out. We will find out. Today they will finish up these gates. One for there. One for here. Three for inside of here. And one for the tanks. Okay, so the doors are going in. These two doors are already in, but there's no latch because I don't have it. Gonna have to, uh, gonna have to pick them up from the store and just put them in at a later time. So that's okay. And then the door on the right, going to have to put in a wooden door in there. Uh, I'll either buy it or I'll use all these pieces and piece the door together. And that's probably what I'll do because I need to do something with all these pieces. So might as well utilize it for something. Okay, so here's the... door to the uh, water tanks it's on and everything but I'm not happy with it let me tell these guys here and see see what happens all right what we're gonna do here is since there's a large gap on this side here we'll take and slide the door to the left move the hinges to the inside edge and push the door back. The problem is, is that when you put the latch here, right now it's flush to the outside and there's no place to put a hole so that the bolt slides in there. And I'll show you that in a minute. Now, the one I'm gonna show you has a big latch, but that was because I had a leftover from a different project but they sell some small ones and that's what's going to go in these gates. Same thing happened to this one here. So it'll have to be uh, actually put on this side so it opens on this side instead of this side. But this is what was supposed to happen. And this would slide in here. And you have room here to make a hole. On the three examples that I supervised over here, they did that. They put this here and this room for that latch to go. Same thing with this one and same thing with that one. But for some reason, when they got to those two, they decided they were going to do something different. And I don't understand that. I, I tell them and tell them and leave them alone so they can work without the pressure of me being here. And then they do whatever they want and then they're going to have to redo it. And 
it just doesn't make sense. But it's still problems like mine. So right now they're gonna rework those doors. He's hanging the last door and uh, they're working on the rendering and then uh, oh they need to fix this door here and they'll be done. So this should be done by this evening. All right, we'll see what happens. Okay, so here's the end of the day. These three doors were done. All I need is the uh, lock like this, but the smaller version that only goes about from here to here. This was left over from a different project, so I used it here. And uh, this door was fixed. This is where the OG had demolished this thing and eaten it. So it's fixed now. So we have a door here. We have a door over there with the water tanks. And we have a door here. Now we have eight slabs for the filters to sit on. The bottom is done all the way around on all eight tanks. Over there we have a little wall protecting the rail for the gate, the track. All we need to do is paint it and put the dirt up against it and you'll have about a block and a half above ground. Over here we have three raised beds and they're full of dirt. All I need to do is flood them and let that dirt settle and uh, then add whatever else is missing. This raised bed here we added one more block because I brought this dirt level up so there was only two blocks showing so now we have three. Yeah, so what I need to do now and I'll probably do it over the weekend is uh, take a drill with a wire brush clean all these walls because they're really smooth so we'll clean them all flush them so we get all that powder out of there go down to the corner and collect everything and then let it sit for a few days a week and do the same to all the tanks and then I think we'll start with this tank here. What one and I decided is we're going to start with this tank here on the right and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So tank number seven, that tank went dry in 12 hours so I think what we'll do is we'll start with the um, crocodile I want to say alligator crocodile flexi, flexi shield. shield it's uh, some kind of uh, waterproof thing that you can use a brush or a roller and what you do is you coat all the surfaces and you give it two coats and then you wait 72 hours and then you could uh, uh, fill it up with water. So I'm thinking that what we'll do is we will give one coat because one bag is about 20 square meters and it's almost 3,000 baht per bag 
So what I'm thinking is we'll give one coat all the way to the top and then the second coat we'll do the bottom go around and around and work our way up until we run up we run out of that material now if we happen to have enough to do two coats for the whole thing great but I think what we'll do is start with one coat and the second coat start with the floor do the side walls and go up as far as possible and hopefully that'll do it if it does then we've got to buy enough stuff to do eight tanks so we're looking at a whole bunch of money we might have to uh, take the OG and rent them out all right so things are looking up even with all my complaining we're pretty much done we need little details for example lights plugs yeah slowly but surely we'll get it done oh yeah and we need a roof on uh, that shed there that water and uh, we need the material that goes here all the way around yeah and also in this section here we need to put some material here otherwise uh, it doesn't serve any purpose to have a gate with a big hole on top yeah all right let's see what happens thanks for watching see you next time see you bye bye